What does revenge porn, psychosis, and brain damage have to do with bullying? Stick around. Find out. Welcome to the Talk About Purpose podcast. I'm Matthew Huey. I'm Brian Harper. I'm Frank Curry. And today we're talking about bullying. I've experienced Yay. a lot of bullying. I agreed. I didn't think I did. I thought I had a very nice and sheltered life until I did the research and I found out I was. Really? There's so many different versions of it. No idea. I had no idea. Go figure. I just called it shitty. Yeah. That's what I thought. I thought people were just being <laughs> shitty to me. Yeah. I didn't think it was bullying. There's so I was probably types. bullied more than I You thought. probably were. I know. You I probably was. were. Oh, fucking Frank bullies me every week on the podcast. So. <laughs> <laughs> every week. I call go, making fun. See, they, it's funny. <laughs> yeah. You come back, though. It's, yeah, sometimes. It's not like I punch you for coming back. Yeah, but I, I come back because, I, you know, you guys are my friends. <laughs> true, true i leave i leave and i go home and cry for a little bit and then i get over it and i'm like all right going back to this again <laughs> all, right, I'm with you. all right so let's break it down though there is three different types of bullying actually cdc made it four now uh there's physical bullying which includes hitting which i mean that's pretty self-explanatory in there you're getting hit you're getting pushed you're getting there. physically mm -hmm. somehow yep um been social there. bullying which includes um Information being shared that shouldn't be, images or digital content. Cyberbullying falls under this one. Um, the worst one. That have a harmful one effect on the person. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. One that I didn't deal with as much. I'm old. I haven't really dealt with it either. I, said, I, I never really thought I was bullied, so I didn't really deal with that either. Um, then there's verbal bullying, which is just, that can yep. also be under cyber as well. Um, which is just, you know, use, using characteristics of people, making fun of them. Basic stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then CDC added a fourth one. I didn't even, I never even thought about it, but it makes sense. Damage to property is now separate. That is definitely a form of bullying. It is yeah. a form of bullying. I never thought about that because almost all the research says those main three, none of them adds to damage to property. What about threats? That's verbal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, for the threats are for sure. Bullying. They're the worst. Sometimes damage your property. I guess it's a, a physical threat, right? A physical threat to damage your property. <clears throat> Fuck your car up, bitch. Oh, I had... That's what they say to me. Oh, sorry. I think they're. <laughs> I thought he was telling me he was gonna fuck my car up. <laughs> no, shit, call it. Yeah. <laughs> Get that insurance paper, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wish somebody would have did that to my truck. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Parking on a corner, bro. I wish for the best. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey. Uh, on a Friday or Saturday night. Um, or at the bottom the of a hill on a snowstorm. Close to a bar. Yeah, that's for real. I lived across from a bar. That's how I got my Land Rover. There you go. I had a Cadillac. That was my first one, my Cadillac. And a drunk lady came out of the bar, just rammed it right into it. Yep. Jumped it up onto the pavement and everything. Oh, she was moving. Oh, Holy yeah. Holy crap. And she sped away, too. Is that what happened to Ooh. that? Yeah, that's what happened to my Camaro, uh, Cadillac. Wow. My Camaro was just sold. Yeah. So, we all have those cars we miss. Anyways, we are way off topic here. Sorry, yeah, back oh. at it. <laughs> Should I do the Adderall speech? Yeah. No, we're sponsored by Adderall. No, we're <laughs> <laughs> we do it once every episode because we like just go, woo, scroll. Yeah. Way yeah. off. Well, in doing this, it's I also found out I probably do have ADHD. Yeah. I never thought I did. Yeah. I thought well, I was fine. Well, I yeah. probably have it. All right, cool. It's Thank hard you. to keep my legs together, damn it. That's what my ex said. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Good Damn, Lord. that was good, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Perfect. I hope your mic picked that up. <laughs> I know, right? Damn. Oops. All right. So, a couple of them. In bullying. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I know that. Uh, yeah, well, we've all been there. Yes. Right. Unfortunately. Thankfully, I met an amazing woman. So. Thank God for that, right? We're still on 1417, so we're good whenever you are. Okay. <laughs> so, there is indirect and also direct bullying. Kind of self-explanatory. Direct is right up in your face. I'm yelling at you. Indirect is you may not even know it's going on behind you. You know. Oh, uh, people talking shit. Yeah. People talking shit behind your back doesn't get to you. Um, not being included in the joke Rumor. around you. Yeah. yeah. Um, Things being, like that. Being picked on. We call that, we call, we didn't call bullying, bullying back then. We called it being picked on. Everybody's being picked on. I had to yeah. lick the bottom of a shoe once. Really? <laughs> For real? Yeah. 
Oh my God, that's terrible, dude. Yeah, lick the bottom of they said game. They said to me, lick the bottom of the shoe, or we would kick your ass. And it was like two of them. When I was a young kid. Damn, that's fucked up. Yeah. So I licked the bottom of a shoe, man. I get mm. bullied a lot too. Damn. Yeah. Isn't there a thing called bootlicker though? I guess I'm a bootlicker then. What is a bootlicker? I don't know. That's a thing, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I've, I've heard, heard of that, right? I, I've yeah. heard I'm that before, nuts. but I don't, no, I've definitely heard that before, but the I don't know what the term means. Yeah, is that military? I don't think it was a. I think it was an Adidas. So I don't think it was a boot. Uh, I don't I remember. Know. It just made it. I made it pop in my head. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm Luke. I'm going <laughs> off on tangents now. Good lord. I was bullied a lot until I started fighting back, and even then, no, that, so. I was, Odie, it's the bootlicker is someone who seeks favor or goodwill in a servile, degraded way. It's Odie. Oh, no. Ew. Did not know that's what that meant. I was not a bootlicker. I was just no, you, no. didn't want to get my ass beat because I was just this little little punk. How old were you? Thirteen. Really? How old were these guys? Oh, older. Oh, yeah. that's that's fucked up, man. Oh. That was fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Made me hit the gym. Yeah. And say, I'm not taking this shit anymore. And now I'm who I am today. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't help me having the first name of Francis either. You know what I mean? But no, it doesn't. <laughs> no. Love my mom. But, you know. So Francis Drake. Yeah. Right, that's exactly where my head goes. Yeah, when and I then Francis. Pope Francis. I'm who started around. calling you Frank? I don't care what people call me anymore. I was just curious who started. Yeah. Oh, every, well, Frank's short for Francis. Yeah, I know. So, that but, makes sense. Well, I don't know. Just it, always Frank. Frankie. Was always... Frankie was my child name. My, fa- like my family still calls me Frankie. Some people call me Frankie. Sound like somebody who's in the mafia. No. no. I'm Irish, brother. 44%. Well, hey, so. the Irish mob. Molly no Maguire. joke. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not like that. No Molly Maguire's or nothing like that. No. Call me Frankie. No. Well, what are you on about? <laughs> my, one, my one friend used to make fun of me and call me Sorry. Frankie Figs. Yeah, Frankie, Frankie Figs. Figs. There you go. Frankie, Figs. Frankie Figs. He used to go there. But no, no. I mean, so, yeah, right. no I've been, I, it sucks, man. So, Ooh. yeah. So, th- th- when you're a child, it seems to be the most prevalent mm-hmm. for bullying. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll get to adults, but here's some statistics, which is I, I found pretty interesting. Girls get bullied more than boys. Yeah, I can definitely. Mm-hmm. From other girls. Yeah, because well, they're yeah. so emotional based. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, 54% of girls at ages 15 to 17 compared to boys at 44%. Well, not much different. 10%, I guess that is a lot. Yeah. 10% is a lot. Yeah. Um, but then in between ages 13 and 15, 49% of boy of girls versus 43% of boys. <clears throat> trying to close that gap there. Yeah, it's it's much it's so the younger you are, the more everybody gets bullied. The older you are, the less boys actually, the more boys get bullied. Um, but the bigger the gap becomes, girls get significantly more bullied when they're yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. Bullying sucks. Yeah. Altogether. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and what was really crazy, in a 2019-2020 uh, study, um, the classroom was the most common location of being bullied. In the classroom, with the teacher there. Very odd. I mean, that's one teacher. Well, now it's anymore. It's like two, two or three not, teachers. They're not allowed to do too much. I actually got bullied by a teacher once. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Good Lord. In third grade. No. Yep. Sure did. What? I don't remember exactly what was going on, but I didn't understand a problem. I remember that. <clears throat> and my third grade teacher, um, in Pottsville, she uh, asked me if I was stupid. And then the whole class started laughing at me. And I remember yelling at everybody to shut up because they were laughing at me. And then the teacher yelled at me for yelling at them and telling them to shut up. And then she said, like, monkey see, monkey do, or something like that. She said, and I, I just remember I was crying. And then I yelled again. I told everybody to stop laughing at me. And then she made me go sit in the hall. And, and fuck uh, that wow. teacher. Fuck that teacher. Yeah. There's not that I, well, I hate bullies. I remember that. I fucking hate them. I fucking. <laughs> I know. Them and was- pedophiles. Just fucking boil my fucking blood. Yeah. I don't know what it is about those two specific groups. Yeah. I, I, 
I have a hard time even just listening to shit about it. That but it was like quickly. every yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Every time so like might every, happen a few times during this because I hate them. Yeah, every, fine, so man. like every day for them for like a month after that, if I would raise my hand to answer a problem, she'd never call on me. And I would just sit. I basically just sat in the chair all all year long, and I was. Just, I remember doing bad. I wouldn't do my homework anymore. I was like, I didn't want to go to school. I remember being at home and my, my grandfather called to school like five times trying to, to talk with somebody to get a hold of the teacher because he wanted to talk to the teacher. And they just they kind of like swept it under the rug and nothing ever happened. And, but it was, uh, yeah, it was, it was traumatizing for me at the time because like everybody, I didn't like not one kid stuck up for me. Not one kid had my back. None. They were all, every one of them laughed. Every one of them did. And then fourth grade came and I still didn't have any friends or anything like that. So I kind of just kept to myself. And then fifth grade, I ended up failing fifth grade because I was dealing with bullies. I dealt mm, with bullies and did damn. not, didn't do homework, didn't do anything. I was, I didn't give a shit about school. I just didn't want to go to it. I hated it. Uh, I remember kind of like you, I had uh, two kids in gym class back me into a corner and kept pushing me around and they were going to, they were going to try and uh, beat me up. Mm. And I just had enough. And I punched the one kid in the face in the corner. And then they both like backed up because they didn't think I was going to do it. And then it was like, I mean, they tried to, they tried to fight me. I just ran out of the gym then. But, and then after that, <clears throat> I'm not going to say their names because I'm actually friends with them now. Um, they uh they grew up a little bit then and and we ended up yeah, becoming right. friends then so that happens um yeah but it's, yeah it was it's beautiful it was, when it does yeah yeah, yeah. They, your yeah. hypothalamus is not formed until you're 25 yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. the part you know the front frontal lobe of your brain is the part that yeah. tells you right and wrong you know what I mean so right as kids it makes sense that it's more prevalent but yeah. then I remember one time I was out we were outside and we uh like before school everybody plays football at at the middle school in Pottsville. Or we used to. I don't know if they still do or not. Nah, but. too many video games. Yeah. So, but we used to go out <laughs> and play football media. all the time. Just little, yeah. like, two-hand touch pickup games. And I was out there playing. I played every day with these same guys. And then two of the guys from one of the football teams, uh, I don't remember what grade. They were older kids, though. But the one kid took the football and was acting like he was going to pass it to me and, like, spiked it off my face. Oh. Uh. And I remember, like, I went over on the side of the field um, because after he hit me in the face with it, his other buddy came in and like hit me in the stomach to like two hand touch me. But he like swung at me and hit me in the stomach and knocked the wind out of me. So I remember I went over like laid down on the side cause I couldn't catch my breath. And I remember looking around and everyone saw what happened and not a single person wanted to help me. Nobody did. Not a single person wanted to help me. And I sat there and fucking the bell rang. Everybody went inside. I was still sitting outside by myself for like 30 minutes. I contemplated my existence. And then finally I like stood up and said, okay, I'm fucking done with this. I'm never dealing with this again. And I walked in. Teacher was mad at me because I was late. And I took the teacher out into the hallway. And this was a good teacher. You know, I told her about it. And um, I didn't rat the kids out or anything. Didn't, didn't say anything about it. Um, I waited. And then my next year, uh, I joined the, uh, not the next year, two years later. So the next year was fine. But the year after that, I joined the wrestling team and I was like, I'm going to get strong. I'm going to learn how to take care of myself. And I had older brothers at home too, that like to kick my ass. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so I started wrestling and then then things started to change a little bit. That's where bullying people still bullied me or tried to, but now I'm stronger. Now I could fight back and I was a very athletic kid. So when I started fighting back, uh, it almost actually kind of worked in the opposite direction. Like I, I wanted people to stop messing with me. I wanted them to stop trying to bully me and trying to hurt me. So I'd fight them and I always kicked their ass because I was fast. So I was a good fighter, which I found out through this. Like, I didn't know this until I started, you know, fighting these kids. I started fighting back. And then it was like, so then those kids stopped bullying me. But then there was, there was always another one. There's always more bullies there. So then it was like, but then it like words started getting out. Like, oh, Harper thinks he can fight. 
okay, I'll fight him. And mm. that's what I started mm-hmm. happen. Then I started. I remember uh, those attitudes. Yeah, you remember that? I so, do. so we had those people. So then I was getting in more fights because I, I never started these fights. I was always just kind of like, and, and my grandfather always told me, listen, I don't ever want you to throw the first punch. I don't ever want you to hit somebody first, but if they back you into a corner and they don't give you an option, I'm not yeah. going to, you're not going to get in trouble for fighting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I would, you know, and I, I try to teach my, see, I don't want my kids to do that though. I don't want my kids to, to, to take the first punch. I hate that idea because you never know what could happen these days. I don't want my kids getting hit. So I tell them, listen, walk away. But if they keep pursuing you, put them on the fucking ground. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If they keep pursuing you, yes. put them on the fucking ground. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, sometimes bullies need to beat down. They do. So and that's is. why, so I, I listened to like a bunch of different podcasts before we even came into this. And everyone, I'm like, listening. I'm like, okay, all right, they're making sense. They're giving the statistics of how many kids, like one in five kids in the U.S. are bullied. Mm-hmm. Like, think, you know, 160,000 a year, uh, teenagers skip school year. I'm like, okay, I'm listening to all this. I'm like, all right, I could see all that. And then they're like, yeah, what you don't ever want to do is uh, is try and fight your bully. Don't ever confront your bully. I'm like, what? oh, fuck. So then i like, that's it. I'm like, I'm done listening to you. I'm done yeah. listening. I don't I don't care what you have to say. I don't have much experience here, so that's going to be on you guys because I'm, I've worked out since I was like 12, 13, and I've always been bigger than other kids until I became an adult. <laughs> and then I was like, I feel tiny. <laughs> so I think that was part of why I never got bullied Yeah, because I was always bigger. I, could, I picked up guys. I threw them against walls. Yeah. I've done all that, and I... I was a bouncer for many years. Yeah. I had... My friends, so, so, but, okay, so as I was growing then, right, so as I was getting older, and as I was understanding how bullies worked, right, I understood that if you fight, if you fight back, they're not gonna, they're not gonna keep pursuing you. They're not gonna, because they don't want somebody. To an extent, they won't, but, but uh, from my experience, from my experience, they didn't. If it's verbal. Verbal's different. if, If you're verbally fighting back, um. A lot of them eat that up. Yeah. They like that. Mm. I don't mm. know about the physical. Physical, it makes sense to me. If you're fucking knocking somebody's lights out, hey. They're not going to fuck with you. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But They're going to have a new level of respect so, at the very so least. So as I was getting older, and I, I understood it more, I remembered where I came from. I remembered being on the side of that parking lot in the grass crying because nobody stuck up for mm. me. I remember that. So when I saw other kids getting bullied like it lit like like something inside me just started fucking burning and i was like and then i i started sticking up for other kids then i didn't let bullies start picking on other kids anymore like i that that was over for me mm. so when i saw it happen uh, i'm not going to say names but i remember one kid uh got smacked in the face with a racquetball mm. and i told the kid that did it, and if he did it again, I was going to kick his ass in front of everybody in the school. And he picked the ball up, walked over, and smoked the kid in the face again. So I kicked his fucking ass in front of everybody. Good. And he, he learned, and again, him and I are, are friends now to this day. We're like, we're okay. I, I don't really talk to him anymore, but he's, you know, he, he was okay after like, when we got through high school, him and I were okay. But uh, yeah, I didn't, man, it just something about it I couldn't watch it anymore. I couldn't do it. I just from, I knew what, I, I know what I felt like when I was in that. Like, I wanted to kill myself. I did. I wanted to die. I didn't want to be a part of the world anymore from people bullying me like that. I didn't want to be here anymore. Mm. So, Damn. Uh, <clears throat> but I mean, I always had my friends to fall back onto. Like, they were always That's around. That's important. Yeah. Your child is getting bullied. Or if you are watching this and you're being bullied, Many, many, many statistics favor you having a friend group. You have a friend group, you're going to survive the bullying. You're actually going to do better with handling your bullying if you have a friend group. Yeah. And if you get real friends, you have a real friend group, then your likelihood of them jumping in to help you is much higher on top of that. Mm -hmm. I know I never worried walking anywhere with you guys. You guys, I mean, we could go to any basketball court. Somebody was going to start shit. Everybody had my back. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Everybody had your back. You know, we all had each other's backs. Yeah. And I think that's something that's very important that kids need to think about. Get a friend group. Yep. Get friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it matters. If you can, because sometimes you can't. 
Sometimes you can't. And you know what? Fuck that. If you're a parent, your kid doesn't have friends, can't make friends, put them in a different school. Yeah. yeah. Put them in a youth group. Get them to Big Brother. Do something. Do something as a parent. Yeah. Because get, him, get the kid to work. Get him to a job. Yeah. yeah. Anything. Yep. Yeah. So just have that, you know, interaction with their peers. They need mm -hmm. peer interaction. They have to have it. They have yeah. to. Got to have your, your boys or your squad, whatever. Yeah. You got to have it. It's just statistics that prove you're going to do better. I didn't get a percent on it. But <laughs> the study I read said you do, you, they do better when they have a friend group. No matter whatever it is, you know, whatever the percentage is, it's still better. So, yeah, I had to buy the study and I was like, no. And, and, and then, <laughs> from, from my experience, like men, you can put like a dude in a room with a hundred other dudes and you're probably going to watch them have a good time. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. but you can't do that with women. No. Oh. So, if, you know, it's, Thankfully for men, you know, uh, we're grateful because it's easy for us to make friends. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of com men have this a lot of the same qualities that we find in common with other men. And as long as the man's not a piece of shit or a total moron, you're going to get along with them. Mm -hmm. you know I, mean? I mean, I guess you get along with a piece of shit or a moron, but you don't want to break, break bread with them. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but for women, it's a little more difficult. They're super clicky. And I don't mean to judge women. I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying like this from my experience, like it's it's harder for women to get along with each other. Um, and that's unfortunate um, because power is in numbers always with everything, mm -hmm. um, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you're a dude, you know, take advantage of that and go make some friends. It's easy. Go to a bar if you have to and just hang out, watch football with somebody. If you're yeah. in football, you'll make friends. You know what I mean? It's that easy. Um, and then just do your best to judge of character of those friends because they're just newly acquaintances, you know. Um, but for women, right. I mean, it's, it's, it's a little more difficult and a little more tricky. And um, I, I hope that they can try to figure out a way to find some camaraderie between other women to have yeah. friends. Um, yeah. it's, just, it's just very clicky as far as women go. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, my wife was extremely bullied. I mean, to the extreme. Mm -hmm. She had friends to fall back on. And I think that's what really saved her because, I mean... Those, those, the rumors and even teachers, she was just vicious. Yep. Yep. Now, keep in mind, my wife did get pregnant at 16, 15, yeah. 16, you know. You know <laughs> so that it was a little harder for her, but, um, you know, having that friend group really. Yeah. And then if, if you, if you can't, you can't go to a bar and find friends, yeah, go online. I'm sure whatever you're into as a subreddit. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I mean. You can meet yeah. people. I mean, they might not be exactly from the same area or whatever, but you're at least going to get some kind of companionship with somebody or you know, conversation at least. Uh, yeah. this, uh, and my favorite thing about you know friendships and stuff is growing together with my friend, learning together, growing together. Like, look at our friendship here. You know, uh, we're learning, we're growing. Yeah, just as we go. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. that's that's a good relationship. So you just need to find good, really healthy relationships with friends, and that's. Yeah. Whatever it whatever it is, if you're in the 3D printing or flying drones or working on stuff, you know, building chicken hoops, whatever, whatever it's in. You know, I mean, I, can you tell I live in the country? But <laughs> whatever, you know what I mean? So whatever it is, you'll there's a people there, the, we have enough communication and you know, social media and stuff out there. There's somebody else out there doing it. Exactly. We're interested in it, at yeah. least to get to spark a conversation to say, oh, cool, what else are you into? I mean, there was one time I worked at Go Live at work and they put me on with a, a counterpart and we were sitting there on a, on a, on a, a team's meeting for like two hours, never met this person before we're just sitting there waiting for the call for the goal live or whatever. So we just started talking. We're, we're friends now. I like him a lot. We chat once in a while. We, I think he, he follows us and uh, he does follow us. He messaged me. He messaged me and said that he was following us and keep, keep up the good fight and stuff. And uh, nice. real, real nice guy. So it, Anything happens, get a job. You know what I mean? If you're 15, 16, get a summer job. Get a job. Yeah. Meet people there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Figure it out. You know what I mean? Go work at uh, volunteer hours. Go to the SPCA. Volunteer hours if you love animals. Stuff like that. You yeah. know what I mean? Do, do some, and then you feel good because you, you not only are you trying to make a relationship with somebody or finding a relationship with somebody, but you're also benefiting other people at the same time to feel that empowerment inside of you. So, I mean, 
it's like I think it was who I forgot which guest it was, but I thought one of our guests was saying that um, if you group things together and then you can knock things out together, that's the way to do it. So like since you're 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 taking care of happiness, but for helping somebody, you're taking care of meeting somebody and potentially starting a relationship, right? So mm-hmm. that's two birds and one stone right there. So if you can group things together that are positive in in, in one aspect or one active or activity rather, then it's, 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 it's perfect. It's, it's the silver lining, right? Yeah. So this, in this instance, you're not only are you bettering yourself because you're helping out, you're dedicating time or whatever, then you're also meeting somebody that could, you know, blossom into something. Yeah, exactly. 100%, man. <clears throat> so makes me want to do some, some more volunteer work. Yeah. For real. But if you're uh if you're a kid, things are going to be a little bit different if you're younger than, in the, than that. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to, well, I mean, if you're younger you're than 15, 16, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I was still working summer jobs like at Votex and stuff when I was like 13, 14. So there, you, there's options. Can you do that anymore? I don't, I don't know. I think it's 15 now. Is it 15 now? I, yeah. I think dude. it might be. I don't know. Yeah. It might be. My 15. kids are trying to find jobs. There's there's nothing like they could do shoveling and yard work. Uh, I think we don't work. Yeah. That's yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, wow. I used to be, I could wow. have a paper route at 12. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck happened? To, well, uh, paper. Paper. Yeah, nah. yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. That's done. Like we had a, a 14 or 15 year old do some summer help with us this past year. We get we get summer help on the books. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. I think, but it's like it's weird. They're out. Like they, they can't work more than like eight hours in a day. Yeah. No. There's soup, and they have to take like certain breaks. And yeah. Shit. They yeah. have to take lunch oh breaks, and like there's they yeah. have to have. I think it's an hour. Every, uh, cause we've had, we've had our family. Yeah. yeah. So you know yeah, what I mean? It's yeah, a family yeah. company. We bring in the kids. Right. right. Yeah, Try yeah. and teach them to get them ready for the job force. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. it's like every hour or two hours, they get like 15 or 30 minutes. I forget. Oh, it's some. it's crazy. They <laughs> get want, a lot. I want, I want that. They get a lot of breaks. That'd be great. And they have to have an hour lunch and it's a lot. <laughs> <Siesta>. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's uh, a lot of stipulations. Well, but, I mean, here, here's one thing, right? So. For, for like things that you can't do because you're not old enough. Well, if you're getting bullied, I bet you $20, you're not the only person that's getting bullied. Mm. So you already have something in common with somebody else. So why not talk to the other person that you know is getting bullied? Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe there's can be. Revenge of the nerds. Yeah. Oh, Go- that's a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> a great movie. I love that movie. Um, yeah. But yeah. Carry a pack of gum with you. Coolest guy in the room is always a guy with gum. In school. In school. Yeah. <laughs> right. Not even works at work. Trust me, I know. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, some more interesting statistics that I don't think enough people are talking about is that uh, about thirty percent of female high school students experience bullying at school or electronically in the last year, um, compared to nineteen percent of males. Kind of already went over that, but here's an interesting one that I thought. Was not correct, but it it's real. This is from Pew Research. Um, nearly twenty nine percent of white high school students experience bullying at school or electronically in the last year, compared to nineteen percent of Hispanics and eighteen percent of blacks. Whites are now being more bullied than any other race. Holy shit! And you know what? I've seen it with my own kids. Yeah, I've had. Thug wannabes call my son saying they're going to shoot him up and they're going to come over there out of their little projects and, and beat the crap out of him. And I got on the phone. I said, bring it on. I'm strapped, buddy. I'm strapped and I'm strong. Come on over. Come yeah. on. Hold on. Come on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Bottle thugs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm a possible crip, man. No, you're not. A real crip catches you. You're dead. Hold on. Hold Good on. luck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're right over here to John O'Hara. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. All right. Sorry. I yeah. can't believe it. I mean, we've always had that, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wannabes. Yeah. I go to Reading. But it's... Reading. I think I was one of those wannabes at one point. Oh, I was. I was Hard. I was not. If I was, I was, if I met me oh, now, I, I would remember. remember. <laughs> I was so into it. I thought I was the Tom, Tommy Hilfiger jeans yep. and shit when I was growing up. My mom was like, $68 a pair of jeans? You're fucking nuts. Now it's like $150 a pair of jeans. Yeah. First, I, thought, I thought we were going to get bullied by Matt first time I met him. I thought we were. I thought you were going to come over and just start bullying us. And 
He walked over. He's like, can I play basketball with you guys? <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> I didn't sound that bad. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. He's <laughs> making sound like fucking Mickey Mouse. He's making sound like fucking yeah. Mickey Mouse. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, the Whoa, first. I played basketball. Woo. <laughs> That's pretty much what it was. And then, then it was like, it wasn't long after that. You had your, your birthday. We You invited us over for your birthday party. And you got the Wii. And you were like, thank you, Jesus. I, want I, I, still I still have that we. I still have that we. Did you hack that shit yet? No, I wanted to keep it as no, I, close to original as possible. No, I hacked mine and had a hard drive on it and everything. Really? Oh, oh yeah. damn. I hacked, <laughs> I hacked every... Oh, man, am I going to get arrested for this? I, mean, I hacked every... I don't know. So. <laughs> I hacked every console up to like more of the more recent gens. You know I mean? I was one of the guys that was shoving the knife in the PlayStation to move the oh. disc out to play the Grand Theft Autos and stuff. Yeah, bro. That's crazy. I think it was PlayStation Two or so. I forget which one. Which Hashtag FBI. Was. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> no. Um, but I mean, yeah. I mean, back in the day, yeah, we do the Utopia boot disc for Dreamcast. We would do this. The anything that I found online, I would go after it. Soldering chips in, in Xboxes, and then I had two wires outside of the Xbox that when you plug them together, the mod chips on, just twist the ends. When you take them apart, they're out, it's what? off. Yeah, I, was, I was pretty... I was pretty wow! Yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. That yeah, so, really but cool. now I, just, I make enough money, I'm like, oh, I'll buy that game. I don't care. I'm, I, don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time to hack all this stupid <laughs> shit and, and worry about getting banned and everything. I'm just like, yeah, no, if I want the game, game, I'll get it. But I don't, I don't buy as many games anymore. I don't play games at all. I mean, I did... Actually, I did last night. I was trying to spend time with one of my kids. Yep. I forgot how much fun it is. Oh, I love play? it. Uh, Mario. Yeah. I still got it. it. Oh, my God. I still got it. What do you play that on? The I do Switch. Switch? Yeah. We have everything. Yeah, because we have the Switch, and then I do I the deluxe one where we can play together. Yeah. Because kids don't know what it's like to play with somebody sitting next oh, to co- you. Local co-op? Yeah, they that's don't like know an what old, that that's is. That's an old thing. Yeah. <laughs> you get the infinity table? What is what? I know what that is, and no. You're not getting it? No. What is it? And then it's an infinity table. It's like those... Um, those it's one like up a, arcades, they made a table. It's like a table. You can play, oh, like, you play, play Monopoly, sorry, like all kinds of games. It's yeah, like, no. cool. I went to a dentist that had one of those really? in his waiting room. Oh, that's badass. It was awesome. What dentist is that? I'm about to go to him. He's down in Pottstown. Oh, never cool mind. Cool dude. Too works, far. Yeah. works with you. Calling that far? Like I said, talk to your dentist. If they don't, if, if you're if having trouble, the they'll work table, with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> no, we, I, play, I play video games. We play, I play Bluey with my daughter. I bought the portal because I'm a PlayStation yeah. guy. Um, I bought the me portal too. for the kid and, and um, well, really for me, but the kid plays yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. The kid plays it and because then I don't have to, I have a big screen downstairs, so I play everything downstairs on the big screen, but I'm usually upstairs most of the time with the kids because they don't want to be downstairs in the mm. dungeon. Um, so it's perfect for me and I just sat there with her on my lap. She's three and she plays Bluey right on top, you know, sitting on my lap. Bup, 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 bup. She loves it. Ah, it's great. That's yeah. awesome. And cool. then I raced with my other daughter. She likes racing games, so we raced. I'd like to get that infinity table, but they're like a thousand dollars. No, they're not really that expensive. Hey. Like a thousand bucks. Oh. Is I it touch screen? Is that why yeah. it's so expensive? Touch screen. A large touch. I mean you could do the same thing. It's huge. Yeah. It's like I mean You could hack it. So like I bought a one up arcade. I bought the Mortal Kombat one up arcade and I hacked it. Like normally it comes with like three games in it or whatever, but I yeah. put a Raspberry Pi in it. When Raspberry Pis were like twenty dollars, they're like really expensive now. But when Raspberry Pis were cheap, I threw one in there. So I have like 6,700 games in it right now. Atari, Damn. PlayStation, Nintendo. We are way off topic. Yeah, way, yeah. way off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So yeah. listen, we'll wrap it back up around. If you're into technology, there's plenty of people out there like that. You'll find friends. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, look Sorry. at me. I'm a 41-year-old nerd. I still find friends yep. in technology find and doing nerd gaming. stuff. And, I, and, I, and then I might become business partners with them. There you go. You see what I'm saying? You there never you know. Go. You never, never know. know. Just find something that you're interested in. We're yeah. all interested in tech and games and everything. That's why we just went crazy off tangent. But yep. that's one thing we have in common. We could sit there and just have camaraderie talking about that. Like we just did. Squirrel. Squirrel. Adderall. Every time. Adderall. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So uh, what I'm saying is just find something in common with somebody. And that right there will just lead your, your the starts, the spark of a, of a potential relationship. Yes. You know what I mean? Because you could have mm-hmm. something in common with somebody that's a total D-bag. Oh, you, so you, really could, uh, you could start working out. At home, oh, on your own, yeah, work mm-hmm. out on your own. Mm-hmm. You start getting stronger. Well, then about getting... 13, 13 Planet Fitness and stuff lets them 13, in, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 13. start going, to... and then you know what? That might be good too 
because you'll meet somebody there maybe or whatever, but then you, you take your parent along, get your parent off their, their ass. Mm, yeah. yeah. That too. You know what I mean? And then maybe the parent will meet somebody too. You never, you never know, but it'll, it'll get them out of their mold. Yep. You know what I mean? Um, yep. All good things. All good things. All good things. You know, all you just got to think of that way. Like the mind is, as I'm getting older, the mind is stronger than anything that you can think of. If your mind gets weak for one minute, your body goes haywire. It really mm -hmm. does. So it's just the way that you process things and look at things. Yeah, it might be shitty. You might be getting picked on and stuff like that. But take it from us. We got picked on and we, you know, went through a bunch of horse shit. Yep. We never gave up. We never said this life sucks for me. I don't want to be here anymore. And actually did something about it. I know that there was thought, obviously, because everybody goes through that while they're being bullied and have a shitty life and enduring the suck. Everybody does it. Everybody endures the suck. And while that moment of enduring the suck comes, it's like, holy shit, is it worth it? You know what I'm saying? Everybody has that moment of worry, that yeah. moment of, you know, stress and, 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 and worry that something, you know, why am I here? What is going on? But as long as you persevere, good things come. It's all about time. So you might have this shitty amount of time. It could be for one, two years, three years or whatever. And you might think that this is the worst time of your life or whatever like that. Um, Come down 10 years down the line, you're going to look back at that and you're going to make, phew. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, I was supposed to go to jail for 30 years. You know what I'm saying? I was prosecuted. I was supposed to go to jail for 30 years. I was scared to leave my house. I was scared of this person coming after me. I had somebody that was coming after me. I was just ruining, trying to do everything they possibly could to ruin my life. And they almost succeeded. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What the heck? Oh, what? oh my no, goodness. I do not oh, know. No, I've had some shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, I've endured the suck multiple times, different instances. It's life. It's life. And and the God God gives us what, you know, He gives us what we can handle. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I that's why I kept my thing was the I verse turned the God. It's not yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, true. <laughs> he, he, anyways, but, I, yeah, I go believe ahead. in God. So I turned to God a lot and said, God, you know, you're gonna help me through this in God's name. I'll get, you know, you're you're gonna help me. And I know you are, and I'm yeah. going to stay here for me, me and my family. And um, I didn't even, you know, I didn't even have my second kid at that time or anything. But, but yeah, no, I was supposed to go to jail for a long time. I didn't know, you know that. What I'm yeah. And they say that you're guilty until, you know, you're, you're innocent until proven guilty. That is <laughs> not how no. it is. They were, I was already arraigned and there was a habeas corpus out for me from a different state. And I, it was a fucking disaster. It was a fucking for, a disaster. Um, but here I am. Here I am. I persevered. I turned to God. I did what I had to do. I endured the suck. Now, since I endured that suck, I look at now as, oh man, I throw whatever the fuck you want at me now. I'm free. I don't, I don't have to worry about being incarcerated for 30 fucking years. Yeah. Damn. I'm fucking free. So what are you going to throw at me now? As I'm getting older, health bullshit, but that's, <laughs> nor that's normal. You know what right. I mean? But other yeah. than that, what are you going to throw at me that's going to be that shitty? Nothing. Not enough. Nothing. So Damn. throw it at me. You see Damn. what I'm saying? You just have to have that mindset. So if you get through this, um, if you get through this, you can then just look at it and be like, man, that was a shitty time. Because that's all you're going to look at it is it was a shitty time. You're not going to yeah. try to revisit it or relive it. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to look at, man, that was a shitty fucking time. And then you'll remember that time and you'll be like, you know what? That was a shitty fucking time. This ain't as bad as that. I got through that. See what I'm saying? Just persevere, man. Just yeah. push through it. Nothing, not, especially in your youth and adolescence, nothing is worth saying, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. Nothing. Because nothing. it's just a fucking chunk of time. It's just a shitty chapter of your great book. It doesn't envision, it's not your whole book of life. It's just a shitty part of a chapter or a shitty chapter or a shitty couple of chapters. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. Persevere and make the book good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So one of the things I always, uh, that I've seen that really hit hard with me with that is if you were making your perfect character in a book, would you have him have a super easy, delicate life? Or would you put him through fucking hell and make him come out of it on top? Yeah, you want a good story. You know what I mean? Everybody wants a good story, right? Yeah. Yeah. Some of the best people I know have had the shittiest starts in life. I just, I just met a guy at Planet Fitness, right? He, I knew him for like, I talked to him a couple of times before, but he told me a little bit of his story yesterday. He was working on a truck on the side of a road and like on, on a jack and a truck hit the truck, hit that truck and hit him. Like he jumped, tried, he, like he heard the bang happen from an 18 wheeler hitting the 18 wheeler. That was Jesus. Yeah. So it was to the point where we, he heard it and he was coming. So he jumped in front of the truck 
that he was working on to try to have it. But that truck hit that truck so hard, it hit him, broke his hip, oh, messed everything up. Jeez. Oh, dude. But he's here today, surviving, living through it. Uh, I mean, it's not exactly bullying, right. but it's another hardship. Yeah. It's only a chapter. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a chapter. I had to lick a fucking shoe. Right, right. I had to lick a shoe. And you know what that made me do? That made me get some hair on my nuts, hit the fucking gym, get big, get strong, and say, this shit ain't happening to me anymore. And that's then I stayed with the gym, and now I'm healthy because of it. That's you know what I'm saying. That's what happened yeah, to as me. As best as I can at 41. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, uh, for me, it was just like that day, it was just like a, a switch yeah. flicked. Yeah. That's what it was. What it, was. Mean, it was like, right, like, it was, at some point in your life, you know, you kind of got to grab, take the bull by the horns and be like, listen, I'm not doing this shit anymore. I'm not putting up with this shit anymore. That's it. That's it. Today was the last day. Yeah. That was the final straw. And it sucks because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of kids, and there's a lot of adults out there that don't get to that point. That switch never flicks, or, or, and then they, or they, the, they, they mm -hmm. clock out. Yeah, sorry. You know? Yeah. And I, I just, I don't want to see people get to that point because I was close myself. I was yeah. very close. Mm. I mean, and unfortunately, you know, the compound on that, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, you're okay. The compound on that there, um, a lot of people have that switch at rock bottom. They get to rock bottom, and then they get, they now they have that switch, like, the best thing is to try to not hit rock bottom. I've hit rock bottom a couple of times. So the best thing is, is try not to hit rock bottom. They have to find that switch all the way down at the bottom. Try to discover that switch a little sooner and say, you know what, this is happening. I can't do this no more. Like sometimes I'm the switch. So when my daughter was getting bullied, I said, all right, somebody's going to learn how to punch today. So I went to the store and I bought one of those bobs. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So I said, all right, well, this is like a person. I Wait. want you to... Explain it to the people. Oh, a bob. So a bob is a punching bag, but it looks more like a human torso. Yeah. It's like a, a face and, and everything. Um, it's pretty neat. Actually, yeah, my cool. three-year-old is so scared of it. Like, do you want to see Bob? They are scary. Oh, my No, they goodness. are scary. She I'm sorry. They are out. scary. With a she freaks fucking, out. Their jawline looks like... Is it one good. of the ones that, like, bounce back? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are freaky. Yeah, The yeah. ones that move like that... Well, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't move. It's just on a... Like on a pedestal that you fill up with right, sand or water. Oh, that water. kind. Okay. Um, but you, you can knock it over. My my daughter knocks it over. She she has a pretty good hit. Yeah, she can. Nice. She can. Nice. So I've been teaching her, you know, like put 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 some month into it. Spin your hip. You know what I mean? Like give it and punch through it. Don't stop. Punch through it. You want to punch through the back of that thing. Punch through it. Whack. Thing knocks yep. over. Whack. All right, I guess I got to put more water in it. Put more water in it. Whack. Thing knocks over. Whack. <laughs> thing knocks over. Like put more water in it. You know what I mean? So um, you just got to make that decision. Say enough is enough. I'm right. not going to be the person. I don't want to cause harm in anybody because this is usually how it is. Like when I was that young, I didn't want to hurt nobody or cause harm or, or, or do anything negative. I just wanted to live and have fun and ride my bike. You know what I mean? And enjoy myself. So I, I don't, I don't want to cause harm. However, like you said, if you get stuck, push back into a corner, you got to strike, man. You know what I mean? You put a snake in a corner, what's it going to do? Gonna strike. It's gonna strike. So you eventually need to get ready for that strike. Not the hog nose. It rolls over and plays dead. Well, yeah. whatever. Well, then you <laughs> don't be the hog nose. <laughs> don't yeah. be. They're fun though. No, I. I just. I wanted to, what, the after beta a while, of snakes. Right? right. The beta of snakes. I after a while. <clears throat> yeah. I wanted. I I started to be the guy that I was looking for on the side of that parking lot. Mm. When I looked to see who all was around, because all it would have took is for like one of the popular football players, yeah. be like, dude, stop picking on the kid. And they would have yeah. stopped. Yeah. That's all it would have took. Right. One person. Yeah. So I started to be the person that, that I was, you know, that I was looking for when I was, so I, yeah. I was physically able to handle myself at this point. And when I saw people getting bullied, I knew that they'd be looking for someone like me to stick yeah. up for them, <clears throat> to stop people from bullying. So, I mean, my friends, a couple of my, my friends in school used to call me the bully beater because I fucking hated bullies and yeah. I didn't like them. Mm. So I was always, like I was almost like actively looking for it. Like if I saw some kid getting bullied, like that, I, like I was, I would, I would show, get infuriated. You ever see the show Bully Beatdown? I have seen it. Yeah. You know, do you know, I know the one guy that was in there. Really, John Murphy. Yeah, yeah, awesome dude. Yeah, awesome dude. But yeah, I love that show because he used to beat the shit out of bullies. They used to think they're badass, and they'd come in and just be like, Pah! "Ew!" And yeah, they always thought they could beat him. Too. Yeah, that's like, what's crazy. Uh, and he, they he, always thought he had like they, this poofy hair at that time. He doesn't have poofy hair now. He hasn't right. had that for a while. But he had this poofy hair and stuff. He's from Pottsville, <laughs> John Murphy. Really? Yeah, I think he's Pottsville. I know he's what? Fulton County native. Yeah. Mean, yeah, it sounds yeah, like yeah. Get out of here. Oh, John, John is an amazing man. He's that's great, cool. Great dude. Yeah, yeah. 
That's very cool. He lives in the surrounding county now. Oh, um, yeah? He's not in Skook anymore, but um, I follow him on, on social media and Good. stuff. Tell him to come be on the podcast. Real nice guy. Yeah, no, that'd be great. Maybe I was. All right. Um. Anyways, yeah, yeah. let's keep yeah. moving because we got a yeah, lot to cover sorry, here. So Holy we're crap. Getting, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just enjoy talking. So, so <laughs> back to the working out. I wanted to add a statistic to that because it's super important that you know working out is now scientifically proven to help deal with bullies. Yep. It is 20, you're 23% less likely to have suicidal thoughts and harm yourself when you work out if you're being bullied. That that's makes, huge. That that's huge. That's like almost one out of every four kids yeah. then starts getting reduced thoughts. That's, that's fucking great. huge. That's great. Well, I mean, I, I, I think the gym is, is positive every way around. I mean, even if you're getting bullied outside, you could still go to the gym and get a nice pump on and say, man, look at me. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I, yeah. Plus, you know it does I mean? so much, uh, so much with your brain. Mm -hmm. It releases endorphins. It gets you mm -hmm. feeling better. Mm -hmm. It brain it, mm -hmm. without you even realizing your brain's actually starting to get happier. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I love cardio. Out. I love my morning cardio and stuff. Yeah, yeah and yeah. you don't even realize it. I mean, we probably do because we love it so much. But mm -hmm. you know, if somebody doesn't love it, you may not even realize it, and you're going to start actually feeling the effects, yep. which is amazing. And the cool thing is, is when you're out and about, you'll be like, "Oh, I know that guy from the gym. Hey, what's up, man? Gone? Are you going to go out here next week?" You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I love the gym, dude. The gym is the best. Yeah. I love it. So one of the other forms of bullying that I didn't realize was a form is not being included in things. Seclusion? Yes. Now, that's one I did experience. I haven't been included in a lot of stuff. I just thought, ah, they're shitty people. They don't like me. Fuck them. Yeah. You know, yeah. I went Sigma at that point. I turned my back and just went Sigma and said, yeah. fuck everybody. I'm going to do me. You know, that's what that was. But it actually can be a type of bullying. And when I was in grade school, when I was actually in school, uh, that happened to me quite a bit. I did get left behind a lot. And mm. then I noticed that. And I think that's kind of why I never wanted to do that to somebody else. If I seen somebody not included, I would always be like, hey, man, you want to come with us? And, it, you know, sometimes the friend group you're with doesn't want that person with. Yeah. Because they might be a little weird, weird, That's different, me. slow, oh, you know. That's you. <laughs> okay, bullying me already. <laughs> but what's interesting is fair though. It's a good fun, it's fair though. You're my, you're my bud. <laughs> like, like people that aren't extroverted, introverts. <laughs> yeah. One way of showing them that you care about them is by inviting them to think. Sure, ninety nine percent of the time they're not gonna come. Yeah. They're not. Yeah. But. The fact that you invite them shows them you care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not about whether they come or not. Always expect yeah. them to. That's fine. But it's the fact of inviting them that matters. <clears throat> and that's the difference. So I just want to put that out there. Because I never realized I was actually bullied like that. I didn't think that was a type of bullying. I remember there was this one kid in, uh, in middle school. Um, and this is while I was actively being bullied as well. But um, he never ate his lunch ever. <laughs> uh, never ate his food. He always would give it to me. He would, he would ask me if I wanted it. And I don't know if it was because I was always nice to the kid. So he always asked me, he's like, I would just trade him my chocolate milk. He would drink that and I would eat his food. And it, it was just like something that we did like every day. I didn't understand. I didn't, I just thought maybe he wasn't Aww. hungry. So then at, at some point, I, at some point, then I found out that he was being bullied very badly um, outside of, well, it was people, kids from school, but it was outside of school. And uh, one time, uh, a counselor student or, uh, you know, counselors in the school uh, came up to me and asked me why I have his food every day. And because mm. they thought I was bullying him. And I said, he just, he gives it to me. And they were like kind of questioning me. Like I was being interrogated. Yeah, like right. I was bullying. And I'm like, no, I said, honestly, I said, I'm, I'm always nice to him. He just offers me, he asks me for my chocolate milk. And in return, he gives me his food. And th like, that was, I, and they, I guess they were concerned about him because he was very small, like very skinny. Uh, he he needed to eat. Like he was definitely like malnourished. Like he needed to eat food. And um, they actually asked me if I could uh, sit with him to try and talk him into eating his food because they were worried about him, I guess, his health. And uh, so I, I didn't tell him anything about that. Even to this day, he doesn't know that that even happened. Um, but I remember sitting down and I would 
he'd be like, oh, he'd like be taking his plate to give me his food. And I'll be like, no, nah, you eat that today. And he'd be like, well, I'm not really hungry. And I'm like, uh, his name was Nick. And I was like, Nick, come on, man. Like you could eat, come on, eat something. I was like, it was a, I forget. It was like chicken nugget day or something. Oh, and I was like, so did I, schools were the best too. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, God, I said, here, you eat one of these. I'll eat one. Like I was just trying to like sit there and talk, I talk, how's your day going? Try and engage in a conversation while we ate. So that way he mm. wouldn't think about the yeah. whole, you know? That's cool. So we sat there and we eat and then he, the kids started eating his meals every day then. And it was, we got away from the whole, him giving me his lunch thing, which was fine with me. I just, you know, I just thought, if I can get the food, why not? You know, I didn't realize. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'd be the same way. I love chicken nuggets. I usually I get doubles and still want more. Did yeah. you put the chicken nuggets in the bun? You know about I've that? I've done that, yeah. We, put, we used to do that. We used to take the center of the bun out, put the nuggets in, and then layer it with barbecue sauce and eat the, eat the sandwich. I never did that. I've, 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 I've done some... that as an adult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah, you know, was, uh, oh, boys. So, oh, what's free? Oh, boys are oh, shit. I got them in New Orleans when I went down there for a bachelor party. Or so, so him just kind of hanging out with me a little bit in school, like knowing that he had a friend, I think kind of helped him because he was depressed a lot. Yeah. So just knowing that he had somebody there that had his back, you know, so. And it, it, it's so important. I mean, teach your kids to do that really because mm -hmm. it, look, I've lost friends over it and I didn't give a shit. Like you'll find out Who's in my friends? life, I don't give a shit much about anything. I've yeah. had a sister who gone through Crohn's disease and mm -hmm. I've had to watch her literally wipe her mind of, feeling because if she feels something it goes to her stomach so i learned a lot from her uh, about how not to give a fuck about other things i learned a lot i need to talk to her she's dead <laughs> oh i'm sorry yeah. man yeah cancer got her well her crohn's disease got her really but oh uh, really wow yeah. that was a pole bearer yeah that was uh, oh wow i'm really sorry man how long a great lady that? uh God. I was like i was uh six years I was oh. dating Amanda at the time. So I think it was probably about six years long. ago. It's weird. Like I always, Great every time, every time right around this time of year, like my old hunting posts on Facebook come up and I'll post something about hunting. And she like always commented on them all the time. Like she saw, so see like her comments and be like, uh, it was great. She was an awesome person. It yeah. was. Yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, so, you know, I would, uh, here's one thing I would do. When I was in, and it, the impact you make makes huge waves just doing one small thing. Yeah. There's, a, there's a kid in my school, and he had severe allergies to, like, everything. I'm talking, this is like a bubble boy type of kid. Couldn't go outside, had to wear masks to go on the bus. This was before masks were a thing. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he was extreme. And I'd spend recesses in with him. You know what I mean? Nobody wanted to play with him. I lost friends over. They're like, why are you hanging out with that weirdo? Fuck you, dude. What do you mean? Yeah. He's right. not doing anything in there. He's not hurting. Anybody. He's a nice guy. Did you actually talk to him? Have right. you? Do you yeah. know him? I mean, eventually that might backfire because you might get a weirdo. Yeah. <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> yeah, that's why you got to, you know. You know, his parents him out. sent the school a note about me to send to my mom saying he doesn't have any friends and he's never been happier. Just from spending like 20, 30 minutes with the kid. Yep. You know what I mean? Yeah. So your impact can make a huge difference. Fuck what the popular people think. Fuck them. Yeah. yeah. Fuck them. That shit don't matter after high school anyway. No, it doesn't. Don't matter. No. So, I mean, really just find the people with good character. God. Yeah. I mean, all the, the, all the popular things. kids, all the all the jocks and, and cool guys that I went to school with, and they're probably not doing shit now other than drugs <laughs> yeah I, I mean you have that for some 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 some, some of them uh some of them are doing very well yeah, some, some do <laughs> you really know, some well. of them for my school are yeah. <laughs> really uh, <laughs> i mean they weren't bullies with me but they were bullies yeah um and that's another thing if you have friends or if you know even if you know the person or something jump the fuck in there bullied mm -hmm. get the fuck in there man no bullying went on around Luckily, I had a lot of good places that I was involved in, like youth yeah. groups, yeah, yeah, which actually aren't always that great. But um, and then our friend crew, and then yep. I still remember we went to to Saint Clair, and I got jumped by those two guys, and everyone stood there and watched while I fought those two guys. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yep. They all stood there. Is that well, when you texted me to come to come help? Probably. 
Fuck. But I was, I was I there. Never, I got, I got like, jumped. Four so, texts ever from dude, you guys. I was I like, fucking never made any of them. I was, I was 16 and they were 19 and 21 and they jumped me and I beat both of them up. But why'd they jump you? Be, so they thought, they thought we were picking. So the reason we went over there is because our one buddy, Josh, that we had, he was getting, uh, there was like 20 kids apparently that were like following them and saying they were going to kick his ass. So we went over there just to make sure he was okay. And then they were already gone by the time we got there. So we were just walking around. And next thing you know, these two guys came up to us and said we were picking on 15 year olds. And I was like, what? No, like you guys are one picking on a 15 year old. (laughs) That's why I'm here. And then he punched me in the face. And then I called my brother Scott at the time. And I was like, yeah, I said this guy and I got his name. Somebody knew who he was and gave me his name. And I told him who he was. And my brother Scott's like, really? He's like, I'll be right over. And started driving. And I, he's like, just keep him there. And I was like, okay. So I was like, told him he wasn't going anywhere. I said, stay here. Then he came back at me. Or no, his girlfriend tried to come at me and tried to like hit me. Oh, because I punched him back. That's right. He hit me and then I hit him back. Mm. So then his girlfriend came at me and said I was, I hit her boyfriend and started smacking me in the face. And all I did was just kind of turn her around and like nudged her away from me. And she mm. like went forward and then like tripped over her own foot and like fell on the ground. And he thought that I pushed her uh. down. So he turned around and was like, you're fucking dead. And came at me and tried to, tried to beat me up. And I just ended up, I was a wrestler. So I just dropped my fucking, I dropped right down, hit him with my shoulder right into his stomach, picked him up and fucking just dumped him right on his biscuit. <laughs> and then his other buddy came in and tried to fight me. I just started hitting him. I like double legged him right down to the ground. And then I, and then meanwhile, every one of my friends is just standing there watching. <laughs> they all, <laughs> they all just watched the whole time. And they were all like, well, if we thought you needed help, we would have jumped in. <laughs> so they, they have so, a point. They have a point. Yeah. yeah uh, they're like, we didn't think you needed help. And I was, but still, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It sucks. I never got to meet. I never got to go on one of those jumps. Yeah. Uh, anyways. Yeah. Um. We did confront a bully one time, though, you and I. We did? We did. Ooh. Remember the guy that choked my sister? Why uh, am I drawing a blank? We went to the Milky. He was at the Milky. We went over there. He was a woman beater. We confronted him. Oh, my it. God. I do remember that. What the fuck? That was the Milky. It's oh. a place we used to ride our bikes. Okay. Milky. Yep. Yep. Moving on. Man, I forgot about that, dude. Yeah, we confronted him. He didn't. He was a tough guy to girls, but. Mm. Yeah, one of those fucks. Oh, my fuck. Anyways. I, con- I confronted an eight or nine-year-old little girl the other day. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Frank, she was pushing Frank. my daughter. She was pushing my daughter up the, up the slide, and I said, excuse me, don't push my daughter. And, uh, and she said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to tell your parents. She said, you don't know who my parents are. So I got real loud, and I said, I can ask everybody in here who your parents are. <laughs> I just stared at her and she just like got all weird and just went up just stopped pushing my daughter and just went up the steps I'm like you think I won't just yell like who's the parents of this kid like yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm very open and I'll be right. like who's the parents of this kid she's bullying my daughter her Knock parents off, or I'm gonna fucking bully you how about that that's how I am if I was her parents I'd have been sitting in the corner like I'm not my like, oh. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Over there. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel's like Frank, Frank your, your cousin is seen your cousin is seen I'm like fucking A right I'm cousin is seen <laughs> you're pushing my daughter I don't care six year old girl <laughs> no but I'll confront their parents and I'll say be a good parent and do something by your kid or I'm gonna confront you how about that yeah. let's go outside that's how I feel fuck sometimes. outside then be a good parent fucker yeah. I don't I think hate, my kids I hate shitty parents that's like a oh. pedophile kind of thing for me too don't fucking let your kids run a fucking muck and expect everybody else to fucking handle it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ask my kids often, though, if they deal with bullying at all, and they both tell me no. That's good. But it helps. That's my good. God, my, they my don't kid deal with that's it. That's good. I, that's good. And, and I try to make sure constantly. that they know that they know they're bullied. Constantly. Really? Constantly. Nonstop. For what? Moses is, uh, he's, a, he's a wigger. So he, okay. He's a wannabe. Um, he talks black, but he's oh, white. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. So that has pretty negative side effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the black people don't bring them in, and yeah. the white people around here, yeah, you know that's that's yeah, kind of yeah, that's yeah. kind of not their thing. <laughs> Putting it nicely, so he's got he's got some friends and stuff, but not really. Yeah, um, and the blacks just they hate him with a passion. 
because he acts that way and he gets his hair braided and you know, he's different. He's big. He's not a little guy, which is not my genetics. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> he's he's also very big, so it's kind of like, you know, he's kind of lanky and different. And, you know, he's he's just a different creature to them. Yeah. And uh, so he gets bullied for that. My other son, um, why they bully him? I have no idea. Well, Isaiah. Isaiah gets bullied. All the time. All the time. Yeah. So uh, he's done, he's dealt with his bullies, though. So he's actually faced them and um, he hasn't had to fight anyone yet, but he uses the tactic of ignoring. So ignoring does work for some. Yeah. For some, if you ignore them and you don't give them any reward for yeah, their attacking you, they're just like, ah, fuck this guy. I'm not getting anything out of him. But some of them um, don't do that. And that's when he's come to the next one, which is actually scientifically proven, which I didn't know until now. But it's funny, um, if you can use your words to turn it around on them and make them look funny, that's actually the best scientific way to use it. Make, uh, to, make to, them look funny? What do you mean? Like, make a joke out of them. Oh, yeah. You know, like, quick, yeah, yeah, quick, yeah. quick, quick whips. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sometimes actually the best escalates. way to use it. That sometimes escalates it, though, right? <laughs> it does. It makes, it makes them be physical then. Yeah, but I mean, Right, yeah, but exactly. most of the time they won't try and use a verbal... Uh, Altercation later? Yeah, they won't do any kind of verbal uh, bullying to you because you're just going to turn around on them and make yeah. them look stupid. Yeah, so he's gotten really good at those. Yeah. Nice. And that's helped him a lot. That's what he I doesn't have any more too. problems with it. Like, he's he's learned to let it roll off his back or to just turn it around on them. Mm. So he doesn't really have any problems. But my other son, you know, I had to pull him out because of it. You know? Oh, wow. You know, and they're still, they, and getting to the cyber part, they still go on after him on, on the phone. I've heard it. I've had to pick up, well, like I said, I've had to pick up, that was for him. I had to pick up the phone. Be like, okay, you little wannabes. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> um, you know, come and say that to some strap strong grown man. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Come on. Uh, you know, and I know he's got to fight his own. Who, battles. Who are the parents? Who the fuck are the parents? They're jokes. Well, they're a joke. They give him vapes and who, alcohol and they're well, in the we're, we're gonna talk you know off I mean? the podcast here, but I, I want to talk to you about that. That's a freaking joke. Yeah. You can't I tried talking to the parents. They don't give a fuck. What did I say? They didn't answer me. It depends on who both of both of them. That's when you show up sitting on their fucking porch. Fuck them. Yeah, they're not gonna do anything about their kid though. Huh? You they know have, what I mean? You have to talk to somebody that can talk to them, somebody that they'll listen to. So they don't listen to anybody. Parents don't give a fuck. They let them run wild. I bet you don't give a fuck if I beat one of their kids up though, because they want my money. Yeah, exactly. Fucking scumbags. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, it's a real issue, but I'm trying to work with him to get him going. He's a lover, not a fighter. It's a good thing and it's a bad thing. I was a lover, not a fighter. Now I'm a fighter. It, 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 this shit does lover change. This, to be this shit fucking changes you, man. I mean, he's, he's even well, yeah. been held down in the bathroom. But if you don't fight for your love, then what kind of... Then you're a fucking <laughs> that's beta. A, that's a, no, Keanu Reeves <laughs> yeah, cringeness. Yeah, that's what oh, you're not Keanu getting Reeves. that cringy shit out of here. I think he cringed him in the video. He's like, He nah, cringed nah. himself. <laughs> yeah. He was like... <laughs> 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 I was like... Okay. That's... I mean, that, that's that, an extreme that, injury. What are you doing in that situation? Because yes. he can't go after them. And I guess the cops are a joke because they're not going to do nothing about it. What are they going to do? I mean, they're giving that minors alcohol and, and nicotine that's illegal supposedly so why wouldn't they, why wouldn't they do it they live in the projects i'm assuming stop being fucking corrupt oh god <laughs> parents that's another whole yeah them. parents parents are a problem parents are a problem yeah yeah and so well, you know trust me, I know my kids know if i ever if i ever catch you bullying if i ever find out you're bullying somebody Oh, they're oh, fucking, yeah, my man. kids know they're getting their ass Your beat. ass is grass. I mean, not literally. <laughs> <laughs> we know our laws. You're allowed to hit with an open hand. No, you're not. You not mean? in PA. Yes, you are. Not in PA. What do you mean? You're not, not allowed to hit your kids? Yes, you are. You're 100% like just... illegal to hit them in any fashion in no, Pennsylvania. No, 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 go, no, go no, talk, no. Go talk to children and youth. Go children, talk to them. Uh, I, I do. I have. They they, they fall in my house for they smacking are, my daughter are, in the face. You are not allowed to hit with anything. Yes, you are. Not with anything. Yes, you you're are. allowed to hit with an open hand. You're as not. long as you don't yes, leave a mark. Are. Yes, you are. No, you're I'm, not. I'm fucking telling you, dude. I'm I'm a hundred and fifty thousand percent. You can look you. up these statistics. I'm telling I you. am curious. I'm look, you can hit your up. kids in Pennsylvania. A thousand percent. That's illegal. <laughs> you're allowed to. That's you are absolutely. Legal. You're just not allowed to leave a mark, and you're not allowed to hit them anything, and you're not allowed to hit them on a closed fist. You cannot leave a mark. So I have looked this up before. Just I've talked to state troopers. I've talked to children and youth. Children and youth have come to my house. 
multiple yeah, but the occasions. Kid says they're hitting you. Don't they're getting hit. They're going to get pulled from you. No, they don't get pulled well, from not. you. Children Youth come to get investigated because that's yeah, just hearsay at that point in time. And then you tell Children Youth what's up. They came to me and I said, well, she was acting a fool. So I smacked her fucking face. I know my rights. I know my laws. It was open hand. There was no mark. It was a love tap. But I, it, it, I'm fucking for real. And this is how it is. Huh. And you know what Children Youth did? They dropped the fucking case. Really? Yes. You could hit, I'm telling you. I'm you telling you, you're your allowed. Kids. You're allowed to hate your you're kids. Not allowed, you're, you're not allowed to beat your kids. Yeah, you're not allowed to beat your kids. You can't beat your kids. Well, yeah, you but said no more. No close. There was one action. time I've done it, ever, and I never want to do it again. It hurt me to do it. Yeah, it you know what I'm saying? Not, it's not fun. In a disciplinary it it. fashion, you are allowed to strike your kids. Yes. No well, marks. In Pennsylvania. No marks. I did not know that. No, and you're not allowed to be a piece of shit. Like, you, you can't yeah. beat your kids. Like, go get me a soda and they get you the wrong flavor and you smack them. Like, that's your fucking scumbag. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're a douchebag. You're beating your kids. Yeah. That's oh, you, different. But if your kid... Can't do that? If, if, no. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm, just I know somebody Lexus that used to do Sprite. that, though. Jesus you know what I'm fuck. Yeah, no, really? Now the kid's kind of messed up about it. Yeah, monster. Absolute monster. What oh, the man. fuck? Um, I feel bad for making a joke about that now. But nonetheless, none. I mean, there's some really bad people out there, dude. Uh there um, is, which is which is why we've said before in the past that when when kids like we said in the previous podcast, uh, when uh, when you have kids come over to your house, like treat them good because yeah. they might you not go home to love. Home. They might not go home to mm. to you know somebody who actually cares about them. Mm. You know, like they should. Mm -hmm. So keep that. In but mind. yeah, no, you're you're absolutely allowed to. Um, <laughs> but you have to be. You have to have finesse with it, I guess. Like I don't, I don't ever want to do it again. No. But yeah, I mean, no, you're, 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 goal, you're allowed to do it. The goal is positive, uh, positive. Um, what is that called? Positive reinforcement. Mm -hmm. That actually creates better children that are more independently mm -hmm. going to choose the right decision, scientifically proven. Yeah. Than um, harsh discipline, which is interesting. Well, I mean, I. I'm, it's hard I, to do. You, you, eventually, one leads into the other, though, because I'm all about that positive influence. I know that there's other attributes at play. I know that there is a past uh, that happened that I wasn't a, that I wasn't aware of or knew that was even going on with her past life. I call it her past life because that was before she was with me. Um, so of course, I tried the finesse part and I've tried doing positive reinforcement and stuff. But then it got to a point where, like, I'm hitting my head against the fucking wall here. Enough is a fuck enough. Something needs to happen. And it's, that's, yeah. that's what happened. Yeah, positive reinforcement is hard. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it just sucks. Why do you sit a shit sandwich? What do you mean? Shit sandwich. You're doing good. You're fucking stupid. You're doing good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, know what I mean? mean? Well, I'm talking about more like um, <laughs> saying something positive or rewarding the, uh, not rewarding, but saying, saying positive things about when they do something right. Right when they say it. Right when they do it. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. That, yeah. that actually promotes a better individual oh, then hey saying. you've done something wrong you're yeah. in trouble that actually yeah. promotes a better individual oh gosh you guys yeah i mean I, I do that all the time littlest things especially i'm an acts of Four. service guy right so oh, just when yeah. something's done i always positive reinforce thank you so much it's very helpful you did a great job at it i appreciate you doing this for me i really really do stuff like that i always try to like you know what i mean or, you know, give them some words of affirmation yeah yeah, yeah. But she, made, just, she made me she made me uh, a crocheted cheeseburger. She crocheted <laughs> a whole cheeseburger and it comes That's apart. Cool. It's like buns, uh, eggs, pickles, uh, <laughs> bacon, all That's this cool. stuff. Um, really awesome at it. You know what I mean? So I told her how awesome she is at it. So yeah, positive reinforcement all the time. With yeah. grades. She's, she's a 99% GPA right now, my daughter. What does that mean? 3.9? No, 99. Yeah, I guess so. Because 4 is 100, right? think so yeah so she's like that's almost, fucking amazing she's amazing <laughs> she's, you know she's, she's at home with me and that's not the easiest to do so right right but yeah so you always got to do hey bumping around all right so <laughs> you always got to do positive you know re i always Have do positive to. reinforcement mm -hmm. you know to. especially with my three-year-old everything she does she went we went bowling last night so she was bowling last night i was watching that and super positive i, I loved it i loved everything yeah. about three-year-old all right let's get into the cyber aspect of it sure um, we've got about, what does it say? 46% of teens have been cyberbullied, which, man, that seems low to me. That seems, that seems low, low to me. Yeah. <laughs> now, what this is, is a survey of them asking. So, yeah. Yeah. 
Maybe not everybody's mm. being like, yeah, I have had that it, happen. This is the worst part about it, though, because, like, when I was growing up and I was being bullied in school or whatever like that, I would be able to turn it off at night. Yeah. <clears throat> I'd be able to turn it off at night, and I know the next day I'm going to endure the suck a little bit or whatever, but I know the rest of the night I'm going to have a good time with my friends or my family or yeah. girlfriend at the time or whatever it was. But and then, but now, now you go home and you get a notification and you look online and somebody tagged you in a post saying that you're a little bitch or something. You know what I mean? Like it's, yeah. it's gone going forever, forever. You know what I mean? People yep. messaging you. What, what did people do back in the day? They'd have to call your house to talk shit on you, but they didn't really want to call your house because they were worried about reaching a parent and not you. So that was a, a, a stopper there. Like that didn't happen that often. <laughs> now kids have their own fucking phones and they get hammered with everything. Do you know what I mean? So th- I think this is the worst part about it because this is what escalates it now from just this short of a time frame to now all the fucking time. Yep. You can take a nap and wake up and your life is miserable. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yes. It's fucked up. Well, you got to monitor your kids' social medias. You have to. Yep. Um, Snapchat's dangerous. Uh, they have that age on there. What is it? 15, 14? They have that age on there for a reason. Mm. Please. My yep. gosh. Yep. Some of those things just should not even exist in my opinion. <laughs> but anyways, all right. So smaller, um, a lot of a lot of teens say they've been called offensive names, 32%. Some of them have said they've had false rumors spread about them online, 22%. Makes sense. You know, it spreads wow. fast too. Um, some of them have been, here's one that has happened to my kids, have been shown explicit images they didn't ask for. And my kids are boys. They're not girls. Oh. Oh, yeah. They've had, it's called, um, well, there's two aspects to revenge porn. So this is revenge porn. Now we're getting into that. This is... Revenge porn is sending a picture of myself to a dude. No. So there's two, so lost. There's two aspects to revenge porn. There's the first one, which is what I just talked about. You get shit you didn't ask for. Like, so you get pictures. Like dark of, web stuff. Yeah, you get dark web stuff of shit. that You yeah. said they're boys, so I automatically thought that they were sending images of boys to them. Yeah, that's, that's been some that of it, it too. Okay. But it's just disgusting, horrifying up. things that you, I don't think any human should see. Dark web nasty. Yeah. But the other version, which I've never had happen to me, thank God... And they haven't had it happen that I know of. <laughs> but that's when you do something sexual with somebody and they take that and then they blow it all over. Oh, the they place. put it ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that's sex, revenge. Sex porn. types and oh, stuff. Yeah. I thought it was like the guy. It's more of a celebrity thing. Slept with your ex girlfriend and uh, videoed it and then it? <laughs> sent it to you. Is it? Yeah. They've no, seen no, revenge porn, but they've never had it happen to them. You know, girls showing their stuff, boys showing their wieners. That's gone all over Snapchat to them. And it's yeah. it's nasty. It happens a lot. Yeah. 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 So I mean, you know, even if you're in a video call or something, that can get pictures. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. They could be snapping while you're you're sitting there on the video call. Don't think you're safe there either. Yeah. If you wouldn't want so the best way I heard somebody say it was if you wouldn't want your ex to have this video picture text, don't send it to your current. Cause that could be your ex. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, that's, you know, just think about that. That's a good way to put it. But thank God schools are doing a lot with, with how you handle media. And uh, that, that helps a lot. For sure. Never been one to send pictures. Me neither. I'm Irish. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what I, where I was going uh, with that. Much. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't because I have a small willy. It's just I just didn't like the idea of somebody having just pictures have of my willy. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't, just don't have the micro the way I look at it is. <laughs> Zoom. Uh, uh, this thing a panoram. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you. Uh, mine's like panacea. Panacea. <laughs> All right. So the other parts of it is fifty uh, percent of teens say they've experienced someone other than their parent. Constantly asking where they are and what they're doing. I didn't think that was a thing, but that's apparently a type of bullying. Asking where they are all the time? Yeah, asking where they are. What are they doing? Yeah. What are you doing now? Who are you with? That's a type of bullying. That's a type of bullying. I've been bullied by so many ex girlfriends. So, you can't be a good, <laughs> <laughs> so you can't be a good, yeah, you can't be a good parent because it's bullying? 
No, 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 it says some other than parents. parents. Oh, other than other. parents. Your parent, uh, you better know where the fuck your kid other is. Your I was parents. about to say. Yeah. You better fucking know where they are. Yeah. <laughs> Nine o'clock. Do you know where your kids? Do you are? remember those commercials? Yeah. Yeah. They don't do them anymore. No, do they? no. God, because no. everybody has Life Three Hundred and Sixty. Huh? You know exactly where your kids at. Yep. Huh? Kids. <laughs> oh yeah, we got those things. Ah, uh, I'm gonna drive around the block. <laughs> <Could've> <laughs> call them. <laughs> My mom used to just go outside and whistle. Hold on, they'll be home. I got one of those tasers on them for the dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I <I'll> beep. <laughs> I beep it three times. If they ain't home in five minutes, I get to zap them. <laughs> that would be terrible. That would be horrible. <laughs> that would be terrible. It'd be horrible. Yeah. All right. So um don't go past the invisible fence. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So ten percent say they've been uh physically threatened. Which is pretty obvious. Yeah. Um but one good thing is social media is actually working to help. At least Facebook is. You can actually report the image and Facebook will scan everything for your image. And if they see it, they'll automatically pull it down, mm. which is pretty cool. <clears throat> that helps stop the spread. Now, Snapchat needs to do that because that's where it actually, that's where the fires actually happen. Yeah. It goes so fast on there. It's, I, I, I didn't even realize how fast it goes on there. Nothing like when we were younger. Put a little bit of spit on there. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing that one's yours. <laughs> That's why we mark them. That's why we mark them. All right, so let's talk about the effects of bullying. Okay. Children and teens who have been exposed to it uh, tend to actually bully others then. Once you've been bullied, you actually tend to bully others. Uh, you be more stressed, obviously. Um, you figure can't beat them, join them? Yeah. That's actually, it's, it's scary. What it, I have guy. the numbers. Or girl. Uh, 2012 study found that for all students who experience bullying. Oh, no, this is something different. Okay, here we go. This is an interesting one, though. 27.6% of the boys and 40.5% of girls had PTSD scores within the clinical range. Like, they need to be wow. taken in. Really? Wow. 40 Holy point, wow. almost half of the kids that are bullied need clinical help immediately. I probably needed it and didn't get it. Read. <clears throat> so the symptoms um, from being bullied are actually worse for students who bullied others and were targets. They are actually the worst. Yeah. yeah. And they need the most help, uh, which kind of makes sense. Yeah, because mm -hmm. they'll sense. have remorse because, too. And not everybody reacts the same way. You got to realize some people have been through some shit and they're going to just react like nothing's going on. They're not going to have PTSD. Some people haven't been through shit and it's going to hit them fucking hard. Yeah. And some people are going to be <clears throat> gone through a lot of shit and that's their tipping point. Yeah. Where they get fucked up. So one application does not apply to all in these situations. You can't, you know, uh, suck it up, man up, to everybody. It doesn't work like that. Sometimes, you know, the home life, the family life, the abuse outside of school is just too much and it does create issues. One, <laughs> um, one thing that was interesting was uh, the words themselves are no longer being used, bully and victim. And I thought it was pretty interesting, and it makes sense. If you tell somebody they're a bully, and you say, you're the bully, they have that in their head that that's now what they are, that's their identity. Mm. If you say, you committed acts of bullying, it says, hey, your actions are bullying, you are not a bully, let's get you fixed. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. And then the victim, they don't call a victim anymore. They say, you have been a victim of oh. that. You are not a victim. That makes sense. So that way you can say, I'm not a victim. I can actually overcome this. You don't associate yourself with those identities and then fall into them. Because th like the pitch in the one weird World Series game, I forget which one it was. Please don't, don't crucify me. I'm not a big baseball, baseball guy. There was a pitch that had to be thrown. It was the last pitch of a World Series game. It had to be thrown. And they pit the batter up there loved 
top left pitches. He liked outside left pitches. He loved them. He ate them up. The coaches came up to the pitcher and they said, hey, don't throw top left. That guy's brain took that and said, don't throw top left. Don't throw top left. Don't throw top. What is running through his brain constantly? Top left, top left, top left, top left. He threw a top left and long. Oh. You know what I mean? What you put in there is going to influence your brain, whether you know it or not. We right. already know the brain and the mind are two separate fucking things. You need to definitely realize roll that. bottom yeah. right. That's what he should have. Exactly. Bottom right, bottom, right, right, bottom right, bottom right, bottom right. Throw bottom right. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty interesting, and it makes sense. Even though it feels mamsy pamsy, <clears throat> it makes sense. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. It really does. It helps. It helps the person. I guess I understand that. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, yes, they are bullying, but, hey, if you can get them the whole You're wholeness, trying, to, trying to get them, get away from the whole uh, idea of being a victim. Yes. Which I like. I like that idea. Um, but I don't want it to mask mask it in a way or make it any less than what it is. Mm. You know? Right. Yeah, I mean, and even during adolescence, you know, when you're hitting that age... You're looking for your identity. So if somebody provides you with your identity, True. you're going to take it. Right. So, oh, that's, I guess that's my identity Then I'm the victim. Yeah. You know? The more I think about it now, the more yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it felt mamsy to me. Because yeah. I want to grab you and be like, you're a fucking bully. I'm going to fucking fuck you up. You know what I mean? Mm. I, that makes sense to me. Yeah. I've done that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I'm like, but, if I'm, I'm very open and, and strict. Well, not strict. I'm... How can I say? I'm sharp to the tongue, pretty much. So I'm like, I'm like, you're being a piece of shit. That yeah. doesn't mean you are a piece of shit. That means currently at this moment in time, you're being a piece of shit. Do better. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I can see how they're trying to take that over. Even though me saying you're being a piece of shit, the person takes it as, oh, I'm a piece of shit now. No. Well, maybe right now in this instance, but overall, you're not a piece of shit. Just your actions right now, you're a piece of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I can see how they're doing it. They have a lot better of play on words than I do. Instead of saying that you are a piece of shit, you're being a piece of shit. That's yeah. different. That's just a quick little word. They're actually making a little more nicely. Your actions are being of somebody that is a piece of shit. That's pretty much all they did. Yeah. You know basically. what I mean? Yeah. 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 But it's important with your brain. My girlfriend needs to tell me that I'm being an asshole, not I am an asshole. So good, good notes. I need to, yes. have, a, I so need then, to have a talk so with her you can today. Say, or, or, you need, or you need to translate <laughs> that in your head. Like, I'm not an I'm asshole, otherwise she wouldn't be with me. I'm just doing asshole-ish things right now, and I right. need to refrain. I know right. plenty of girls with assholes. I was just kidding. I, I, <laughs> well, most girls wow. do have assholes. So how else do they poop? <laughs> Women poop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, they don't defecate wow. inside themselves. If your girlfriend's not pooping in front of you, she don't love you. That's, I don't know about that. No, not pooping. <laughs> sorry, sorry, not pooping. Like, farting, farting, she, farting. She farting, poops farting, like, farting. like once a week. No, 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 sorry. There's farting. something wrong with her, I, mean, I swear. Farting. What the fuck? She poops like she Some people are like that. Poop Some people often are like that. at all. Some people are like that. Like I three said, days. I can't be healthy. I don't know about a whole week, but like three days. She poops like once every like four or five days. I'm not kidding. Blow the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to try that so try bad. Out. I never out. get poops that are hard to push out, though. Yeah, try that out. I got the Lex IBS. Does. My son Lex does. Does he? Yeah, he gets constipated real try bad. Try on him. Try it on him. But tell him. Tell him. And you're blowing a balloon. Tell him you're blowing a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He's going to be sitting there like... <laughs> the worst part about it is I'm a 41-year-old man. I'm sitting there doing that shit. <laughs> and it oh, works. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right let's get on and to the so, next so thing. just so you know if you're at home and you're having trouble pooping just blow a balloon let's pretend to blow a balloon <laughs> let's get on to psychosis and brain damage <laughs> i think we just had some brain damage we have there. some brain damage here <laughs> we, for sure. we have some we brain have damage. some brain damage here. there is no doubt <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Frank for sure. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, but that was drug use. That was bullying. I'm drug sorry. use. So there is a Dr. Daniel Amen. God, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It looks like Amen. So Dr. 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 Daniel Amen. Dr. Damon. Daniel. <laughs> Dr. What? D. What? Amen. Dr. D. Amen. Dr. Damon. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> uh, Brain damage for sure. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> Uh, it's not right. even eight o'clock at night. I'm going crazy. <laughs> I don't know where we're at. All right. All right. So, Dr. Anyways, D. A. Amen. This is interesting. Pay attention. So, he does 
uh, brain studies, scans, psychology, physiology. He's in the works of it, mm. right? Okay. He did a lot of scans. I mean, he's done over, I forget the mm. number. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, yeah, I want to say it's over 20,000. Holy shit. <clears throat> but it's ridiculous. Um, celebrities, uh, uh, <coughs> psychotic killers, Ooh. people in prison. He's done them all. He's done everything. And what he's found was he's been able to find certain patterns in the brain, certain shapes of the brain, certain um, uh, highlighted areas of activity in the brain that signal what kind of person you are, what you need to work on, what's going on. And what he found was after doing a lot of the brain scans of the severely mentally ill incarcerated, that their brains, there was even a 15 year old that was a school shooter that actually, well, what he took a gun to school. His parents came, got him and took the gun away, but then he ended up killing his parents that night and then going into the school and shooting 20 some kids. Wow. At 15 years old. Wow. So the doctor brought him in and they, they were like, you want to do some brain scans on him? He's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's an interesting brain scan. <laughs> yeah. He found the kid had probably a lack of oxygen or like an extreme toxin in his house or food that made his brain shrink. Now it's oh. taking excuses. I get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But when you physically don't have the capacity, it's not an excuse. No. Yeah. The kid's brain was so screwed up that there was no way he was thinking right. He couldn't think because there was damage done to his brain from either when he was a baby and he didn't get enough oxygen or from some sort of toxin. And I wow. think brain health is not looked at when it comes to bullying. Yeah. Even because you figure you've got the, the, the equivalent of a stick of butter in your melon that gets knocked around in a <clears> skull <throat> that's like hard like a rock. What do you think the combinations of that's going to yeah. be? You know what I mean? You hit your head too hard too many times, you're going to fuck some shit up in your brain. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Ceiling fans fucked me up. College. <laughs> Actually, rafters exactly. and basements i was the i was you were talking i was the, yeah i was the dude i was the dude in college that cleaned all the cobwebs between the rafters and the basement because i'd walk through the cob like <laughs> cobwebs on my fucking hat and everything that's, that's terrible <laughs> see, see, being sure six five. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. i don't have see no, so you don't even sure. know there you don't even know there I'm, I'm tall but i'm not that tall god smoke but brain damage that's crazy uh, 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 Brain health needs to be seriously considered with, with bullying and with everything I mean, in life. But, everything. Who, who's going to do that, though? Nobody. Yeah, it nobody's should do be that. done. Nobody's Dude, gonna. so this, this doctor, he said, you can go to 100 psychologists and you'll be lucky if you get one or two to do a brain scan to see what's actually going on in your brain. Holy shit. That's how new this stuff is. Wow. Like, imagine you have a, a messed up, of a uh, frontal lobe, uh -huh. frontal cortex or yep. hypothalamus. Imagine you have one of those screwed up and they're just throwing medicine at you for the symptoms. Yeah. Well, but there's a whole actual issue in there. Yeah. yeah. What do you do for that though? Try to develop He it? actually has. He has yeah, a, nice. He has ways to fix your brain. And did you know, I knew mold affects you, but it, it sits on your brain and can grow. I did not know that. It can grow on your brain. I did not know that. Moldy houses. Like black, like, like black mold, specific mold stuff, right? It has to be specific. Yeah. I don't, I don't I know. Think like like black, black, mold, black mold is the bad shit. Yeah. yeah. But it fuck, uh, mm. fucks you up in your brain. That you don't know. That explains a lot. You don't know. Yeah. Is your house moldy? My house is moldy. My old house was. Mine is. I basically have a river running through my basement. That's moldy. Yeah. 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 So you know it's got to have do, something right. somewhere. Yeah, you, might, you might not have black mold, though. Is any of the mold No, black? it's not yeah, black. Yeah. But I'm sure there's mold somewhere there. Mm -hmm. How do you, do you find out? Get a brain scan. No, you, you can actually get mold kits to yeah, test if you have mold. mold in your house. And you, it's just I mean, how do you test if, you're, if you have it in your brain? He scans it. He can see it. Yep. He can see the mold in your brain. Wow. So can you <laughs> just go get a brain scan done and get it checked to see if you have mold? You have to go to this guy. You have to go to him. Where's he at? Uh, I, California, I don't, probably. I don't remember where he's at. 
But I mean, I'm sure I, there's got to be others doing this. I hope he has clinical as that he's teaching other people's stuff. Now. Right. I hope so. He has organizations. He has a lot. Okay, good. He's, he's very, very cutting edge and he's good, starting good. a lot. Good. Yeah. So it'll probably take, what, 10 years for it to get oh. there if it's on the West Coast? Yeah, probably a lot. Yeah. You'll already be like 70 years old by then, so. Well, he said if you start working on your brain in your 20s, 30s, 40s. Well, not 40s. Sorry, Frank. Yeah. Um, <laughs> over it's never me. too late. It's over, it's, never too late. it's over for me. It's never too late. He said if you start working on your brain then, um, you know, you might have a happy 70s, 80s with a fully functioning brain. Yeah. No, but you got to start working on it young. But there's never too late. You can always gain more time out of it. So there's always that. But yeah, I just I just wanted to add that in there because I couldn't believe how are we not incorporating something? Like, how is this not more known? I mean, I didn't know about it until I did this, obviously. I don't, I don't know why right? I wouldn't use it. It's an expense for them, for a patient, and right? money for them. I mean, it's, it's, it is it's business at the end of the day, is it not? Medicine? Uh, so, I mean. Such a bullshit he can help people and save people yeah. turn bullies lives around yeah. sometimes they need the help <laughs> yeah sometimes they're the ones screaming out in pain and that's why they're doing it because of what they deal with at home and things like that so yeah. yeah i mean imagine you're at home and you're constantly being abused what happens in your brain is your brain says we're gonna shut certain things off and we're gonna stay hyper focused and ready for the pain pain's coming you know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's, and then you take that into your rest of your life. Just constantly looking for pain and fighting back. You know what I mean? Trying to stay ahead of the pain so you deal it. So, really, really please, if, I mean, man, that can get further along. That would be fantastic. Um, man, we covered a lot, guys. We did. Great. You really did. Uh, one thing is uh, also bullying happens to adults. I know. In work. <laughs> <laughs> During podcasts. <laughs> During podcasts. <yeah. laughs> oh, that was great. That was great. During podcasts. Uh, yep. um, but, but it's it's very, it's as important as an adult that you have your do. Yep. Mm. Um, they're more selective as you get older though and everybody gets busy with their own lives oh, and it's tough you it kinda, you, we gotta message each other well, do the top it. to top level like Eddie was saying yeah that was great Yeah. Um, great question for you guys so a lot of the bullies in my son's school girls what? women well you know the I don't need a man attitude uh -huh. you know those women uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, uh, fix your car yeah. well <laughs> right. you know <laughs> Cut the grass. Cool. <laughs> Take the garbage out. Defend your country. Defend your country. <laughs> well, yeah. Some women do all those things. Oh, they they do. Yeah. 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 They, they join do. the military, but they're not in active combat roles. They're not? No. I didn't know that. Oh, well. Nope. Really? really? No. Women I did not know. None of them? Women cannot be in infantry. No. Well, they, I, I, I kind of understand, but I'd feel like active there's some anomalies role. out there that would be able to happen. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sure, it, I'm sure some bad bitches, occasionally, some bad bitches occasionally it'll happen, but you're not going to see a woman in like the, uh, army rangers or special forces oh, or Navy heck. SEALs. No. You're not gonna, you, you, they're not no in way. infantry. They're not doing that. They're, I, they're, they're always in non-combative roles. Yeah. And, and I don't, because think about it now, none, this is nothing against women, nothing against them at all. This is literally our, our physiology i guess you'd say it's if you're on a battlefield okay and frank me and frank are on a battlefield right i get shot in the leg frank gets shot in his leg and we have a female with us how are we getting everybody out of there you ain't you ain't no that's the issue that's the problem a female is not going to be able to carry I, yeah i mean Look, most, dude, we'll most have, dudes won't be able to carry two dudes out no most Man, of them won't well not but, anymore. But, yeah. but if you get shot in the leg and I get shot in the leg, he can put it. He, he can, can, he can use both. He, we could hop him. on one leg and he could handle that weight for a longer period of time than any yeah. woman's going to be able yeah. to handle. Yep. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, women. I mean, you, yeah. I don't know about the tank over here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that guy. I'm leaning out. He's going to be leaning on both of us, sir. <laughs> no, I, I, I believe women have like higher. Uh, pain higher higher pain tolerance. They definitely have a higher threshold do. for pain. I, nope. Proven scientifically. Wrong. Really? Men what? do. That's 
proven shut the fuck scientifically up. incorrect now men that do. is that got me fucked up right now because yeah, i don't i have to up. look it up i have okay. to look it up but i did see the study a, long, a while ago i feel like on, women, that's uncharted women, territory not true. Women, maybe I, just mentally they're stronger than i don't know because they I mean, when i get the flu i'm a big bitch yeah yeah, there's there's man, man flu. Man flu. Yeah, yeah. I, I also come down pretty See, damn hard compared know. to my wife. I do. We can't we can't pretend but to know what they feel. Like, that's when, so. physiology again. Yeah, you know the way the women's body is, it's made to be the mother and supposed to be able to have that control there. Where men, that's not the case. Yeah. We go down hard. There's ah, man, I don't remember the argument there. There is an argument there too. I, okay. I am not trying to bash women. I really am not. The argument is, is I'm I am a big sorry. Bitch. I don't, I don't I'm not trying to bash flu. women either. I was just saying, um, like in 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 certain <laughs> aspects of life, like in war, if you're going to defend your country, you have to physically be able to carry. We don't. We never leave a fallen comrade. Right. You're never supposed to leave uh, one of your battle buddies behind. Right. right. So if that means you have to carry your battle buddy out of the battlefield, you need to be able to physically pick him up and carry him out or yeah. drag him out. Yeah. And as much as I'm sure there's some freak women out there that can do that. They're de- that, oh, there, there they're definitely fucking, is people out there. There's women out there that hanging out their arm, but yeah. they're, they're definitely out there. Right. But, <laughs> but the fact of the matter is every woman that I've ever met in the military, when I was in the army, none of them could have done that. None of them. Yeah. I was right. yeah it's, it's, it's just Single genetics. One. There's nothing you can do about that. Yeah, that's wow. what it is. I mean, and it's again, nothing against them no, at all. Nothing. Because they, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I, I'm, I'm a firm believer that women are not supposed to do what men can do. You're supposed to do what we can't do. You're supposed to be the yin and the yang, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. You're supposed exactly. to do everything I can't do. Yeah. What you can, what yeah. you do. Because yes. there's some shit that I can't do that my girl does. Yeah, like directions. I'm horrible with directions. <laughs> She's awesome with directions. <laughs> I, don't, I never need directions. Oh, God. I'm, <laughs> like to go somewhere? Fuck no. No directions. Don't give me anything. Go to Philly. I'm a man. I'll figure it out. Oh, my God, no. Do you stop and ask people directions? Fuck no. Oh, my God. Are you crazy? I'm one of those fucking people. <laughs> you ask for directions? <laughs> no, I have fucking yeah, ways and stuff now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Back yeah, in the day, I did. I used, no, I used to have an atlas with me. I, I, mean, I had a map that I'd... Map fucking, quest? Oh, yeah. Remember map quest? Out. Print out map quest? And you're out. I was and too and impatient. Like, oh, fuck, I'm still off, off the page. I don't know where the fuck I am. I'm not on the page right now. I was too impatient. I asked people all the time. Yeah, it doesn't I matter. was like, how do I get, where, where, where is it at? Yeah. I know where I'm at. We don't need to stop and ask for directions. <laughs> no, fuck that. Back in the days of maps, I was like, fuck that. Yeah. I mean, I used to, it was great because we used to travel. All right, we're off it on goes, another so tangent. Dang it. All right. <laughs> all right. Anyway. <laughs> At all. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, I think there's a lot. I, I think we get we dropped a lot on there. I yeah. have I've yeah. got pretty much everything else. I said everything I wanted to say pretty much. Too. Other than you know, don't be a bully. Women get along better. Pretty Come much. on, yeah. It Other sucks, that, but num- pa- power in numbers, people. Power yep. in numbers. Sometimes you got to. Sometimes violence. you got to take a stand though and save yourself. Oh well, yeah. If it's if it's toxic and it's wearing you down and making you toxic, you'd bow out. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have to value you have to check the value of the relationship. The relationship is toxic. No, I'm I'm just saying, I'm just out. saying for for me, you know, that friend wasn't coming. Well, yeah, yeah. He wasn't coming. So that's that I had suck. I had to save myself. <clears throat> and sometimes sometimes you're gonna look around for that for that person to to help you and he's not gonna be there. He or she, they're not gonna be there. Yeah. You got to save yourself yeah. Yeah. and it will get better. Yeah. Yeah. It that's definitely the, will. That's the thing. It's just a chapter. Just endure the, chapter. just persevere it, man. Do not clock out. Persevere Do not it. give up. Shit. I was bullied. I licked the fucking shoe. Perseverance. Yep. You know what I mean? Spiked in the face. And now I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm here getting bullied by Frank every day. So. <laughs> It's just on right. Sundays. <laughs> just on Sundays. So. <laughs> and the rest of the week through text messages. Oh, so. that is social. <laughs> social. Uh, <laughs> um, like, comment, subscribe, follow. If you're uh, doing the pods, uh, please leave a review. Yeah. Let us know how we're going. If Comments. you want to get a hold of us, it is talkaboutpurpose at gmail.com. Any questions or anything like that, please let us know. You got love mail for uh, 
No, Frank, let us know. <laughs> well, mail for Frank. Email for Frank, more like it. I'm not being dummy to shit up. He definitely does have brain damage. <laughs> that guy didn't get enough oxygen when he was a baby. <laughs> hey, that's a real thing. Got mold on the brain. Well, right. I mean, I could send a, well, or the chemicals. Chem- hey, man, rough 20s. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Go. I yeah. have an excuse, people. Yeah, no. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot, Sam. Bye.